Hello, welcome back to my study. Here's a question to get you thinking. What do you say to somebody who's really struggling with an issue in their life or or, or who's really been upset by something um, or, or is, is somebody who's down? What do you say to them? How do you comfort them? What do you do? Press pause and have a think about that. Well, I guess you could say, would you like a cup of tea? Well, that's not really going to help too much, is it? Uh, you could have a chat with them. That would be a good thing to do. Uh, you could uh, give them a book to read or a video to watch or uh, a podcast to listen to, something like that. Any of those things might help a little bit. You could pray with them. That would be great. What does Isaiah do? With, with the people who are struggling in Judah and Jerusalem. Let me take you to Isaiah chapter 35 and uh, verses 3 and 4. Here we go. Strengthen the feeble hands, steady the knees that give way. There you go. Can you see people who are nervous, who are scared of the future? Weak hands, hands that are, are shaking, uh, knees that are, are, are weak and and uh, are, are wobbling underneath you. These are people who are scared. Strengthen the feeble hands. Steady the knees that give way. Say to those with fearful hearts, would you like a cup of tea? No. Say to those with fearful hearts, be strong. Do not fear. It'd be rubbish if it stopped there, wouldn't it? That would be pull your socks up. And that doesn't help anybody. Be strong, do not fear, your God will come. There you go. The, the source of our hope when we're in a tough patch, in a difficult place, is God himself. Strengthen, steady, be strong, don't fear, because your God will come. He will come with vengeance, with divine retribution. For uh, Judah and Jerusalem, that, that was to get rid of the enemy Assyrians. He would deal with them, that they would be gone. For us, it's not the enemy Assyrians, is it? it it's, it's, the, uh, it's sin and the effects of living in a fallen world that uh, crouches in around us and attacks us and, and makes life pretty rubbish sometimes. God will get rid of all of that eventually. He will come to save you, finishes verse four. God is coming. If you're a Christian, if you're somebody who's trusting in Jesus, you have God already. He has you. But one day, one day, Jesus will return. God will come back. And he will finally take us to be with him, where there will be no issues anymore, no trouble anymore. We have a final hope, a certain hope in God. So what can we say to our friends or, or, or whoever who's going through a hard time at the moment, who's struggling? Well, we can say strengthen. We can say be steady, we can say, be strong, don't fear, because your God will come. He will save you, and all of this stuff you're going through will be dealt with. Maybe not in this life, but in the one to come, most certainly. And God is with us in our troubles now. He doesn't let us go it alone. He, he doesn't say, oh, I'll, say, I'll save you in the future and, and you've got to make your own way between now and then. He is with us already. God is with us, Emmanuel. He is here. And he will bring his full salvation in our full experience uh, one day when we see Jesus face to face. Let me pray. Father, thank you that we don't need to fear that we can be strong and steady, 
that our hearts don't need to be troubled because uh, you are with us now and you will come. You have saved us and you will save us. Amen. See you soon.